I told you before we started recording, you know, I'm in southeastern Ohio um, on our farm and, and we manage it primarily for timber. And what has happened is there was this idea of like an unmanaged forest is a good forest, right? And that was like this idea where you just let everything go. But what we found is that we were actually out competing our native oaks um, because they're such slow growers. And fire has been removed off the landscape, obviously, because of, of urbanization and, and people moving and stuff. You, you don't have these huge fires going through the landscape. So what has happened is like our forests that were primarily oak hickory are now beech maple with some oak struggling. So if you don't go in there and, and manage those things, very similar to CRP, you end up with not quite a monoculture, um, but you don't have the diversity that you should have. And in some cases, not necessarily in my area, but in some cases, even oak savanna landscapes where you have, you know, an oak every 150 yards and then between it was native grasslands, right? Which is just an amazing thing to envision. Um, and certainly I can relate to a lot of things you said there with kind of just letting the CRP go, right? Yeah, if we leave it, it'll well, that's not always the case. There should be some type of of, of management uh, occurring 